I'm gonna say something pretty bold here. The drones in this video are some of the coolest I have ever seen. And today we'll be exploring the details of their morphing wings, as well as some of the unusual ways they are using them to gain some seriously impressive efficiency benefits. This incredible engineering actually all starts with a man called Dario Florino. When he was a child, he dreamt that robots of the future would fight injustice. And today he leads a robotics revolution, studying how nature solves tricky problems in quickly changing environments, including many interesting drones. In 2005, he started the Lab for Intelligent Systems, or LIS, on the tranquil shores of Lake Geneva. Instead of focusing on specific applications, the lab explores big questions and big problems to solve. One challenge they are tackling is making drones that are both efficient and agile. By 2024, the lab created the Raptor, a drone with wings that can change shape and a twisting tail inspired by the northern goshawk, a powerful bird of prey. Then there's the lab's Raven, a hopping robot which is still in development. The aim here is to allow agility on ground as well as in the air. Once they master controlling the bird-like wings and tails of the raptor, these highly efficient drones could be used in dangerous or hard to reach places, or maybe, just maybe, inspire a new generation of aircraft. I'm Ryan Innes, and this is a Xerox Deep Dive. The Elias Raptor is a Hawk-inspired drone that can execute steady bank turns and sharp maneuvers, fly slowly or aggressively. It's a culmination of more than a decade of work by Florino and researchers at the Institute. The work is guided by Florino's vision that robots and responsive biological systems are the holy grail of robotics. Nature has a lot to teach us. We still don't understand, for example, exactly how birds achieve their incredible maneuverability, but thanks to drones tested in wind tunnels and AI flight optimization, we're learning fast. LIS have also made a drone with edible wings that will not only help rescue that hiker lost in blinding snow, but provide food at the same time. An interesting concept for sure. The advantage of drones with wings versus quadcopters is that they can more efficiently cover long distances. This is because their wings provide the lift, meaning that they don't need to take off and land as frequently. But winged drones generally can't do vertical takeoffs or hover in place, and can't make the same precise movements. Drones with flapping wings, known as ornithopters, can use their wings to glide efficiently, and have proven to be more agile, but their complexity can make them impractical and difficult to control, and that's a problem. So now imagine having the benefits of agility and efficiency without the extreme complexity. For this, researchers at LIS turned to the northern goshawk. By studying how its tail and wing morphed together, they were able to uncover the secrets of its fast turns, quick deceleration, and efficient slow-moving flight. From this, they were able to engineer a drone with unprecedented agility. That can also adapt quickly to changing conditions and withstand unpredictable events. The LIS Raptor is still more complex to fly, but that's where their AI algorithms are coming in to help. Before diving into how the Raptor operates, we need to take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering within its construction. There are a few variations of the Raptor drone that have been developed over the last decade, but they broadly follow this construction. The drone's wings are made up of three segments, just like a real bird's wing. These segments are connected by lightweight glass fiber sheets and can rotate around the shoulder, elbow, and wrist joints. Instead of using multiple motors, the engineers designed a clever pulley and string system that allows the entire wing to move with just one motor. The wings are covered with 20 artificial feathers, 9 for the outer primary section and 11 for the inner secondary section. These feathers are super light, made from foam and carbon fiber, and can rotate slightly just like real feathers. They're even connected with tendons to ensure they overlap perfectly when the wings fold or extend. 
The tail is just as impressive. It has 11 overlapping feathers that can twist, change shape, and even act as an elevator or rudder to control movement. This is all powered by a motor and elastic tendons that help it morph and move. The skeleton that this is all based around was laser cut from strong lightweight materials and 3D printers were used to make the joints and connectors. Everything had to be carefully considered to keep the drone both powerful and lightweight. The Raptor drones vary from around 1 meter to 1.5 meters in wingspan and 500 to 750 grams, not far off of a real goshawk. Unlike the real bird, however, it has a propeller at the front for forward thrust instead of flapping wings, and a rudder-like structure on the tail which can counteract the yaw created by the propeller. All these joints and actuators give the Raptor drone up to 8 degrees of freedom, meaning there is a lot to control. So let's see what it's capable of. When scientists studied the northern goshawk, the bird that inspired the design of the Raptor drones, one thing stood out. It can make sharp turns in the air without moving its wings. By using computer models and the physical Raptor drones, they learnt much more about how the birds control their movements in flight. They discovered how birds use all parts of their bodies, like wings and tail, to steer and balance, and importantly, how these parts work together to achieve unique results. It turned out, the key to the smooth turning of the goshawk actually lies in the twisting of the tail. For instance, flow visualization experiments showed what happens when the tail is twisted. Here's how it works. The tail is located just behind the wings, at what's called the trailing edge. When the tail twists, one side moves into the turbulent airflow, or wake, created by the wings. This uneven airflow on each side of the tail creates an imbalance in lift which causes the drone to roll and helps it smoothly start a turn. At the same time, twisting the tail reduces the overall lift it produces. This makes the drone's nose tilt upwards, increasing the angle at which the wings meet the airflow, called the angle of attack. This change boosts the wing's lift, compensating for any of the lift lost during the turn. By working together, these movements allow the drone to execute precise and stable turns. More than just twisting the tail, birds like the goshawk change the shape of their wings and tail to fly slowly without falling to the ground and reduce air resistance when flying fast. Therefore, it is possible for the robotic raptor drone to also use these tricks, which is huge for improving efficiency and agility. Possibly my favourite finding was to do with flight efficiency. The wing configuration was perfected using Bayesian optimization, which keeps trying different wing morphing setups to find the one that uses the least amount of energy. This actually yielded some unexpected results, and often there were multiple best solutions. One example I found interesting was that at high speeds it's actually beneficial to put the tail in a position that induces more drag because it gives extra lift which allows the larger wings to be tucked in and reduce their surface area. Therefore even though the tail is inducing more drag, because it means the wings can be tucked in, the overall drag of the bird is reduced. You can see in the graph during this test video how over time the Bayesian optimization continues to find a more efficient configuration, leading to an 11.6% efficiency improvement over fixed wings when flying at high speed. Also to make sure it was tough enough to handle real world challenges, they decided to get physical, ensuring things kept flying smoothly even when there were bumps or hits along the way. This was also tested with actuator failure, to ensure that no matter what happens in the sky, the drone will cope and find ways to accomplish its mission. This research is just the tip of the iceberg. One area that's promising is sophisticated morphing algorithms, enabling drones to navigate environments and face different conditions. This is developed through a kind of machine learning called reinforcement learning where AI agents learn by trial and error, learning to navigate obstacles, adapt to surroundings, and complete complex tasks without human intervention. 
if the drone encounters something it doesn't know, it will learn from its experience. A bit like puppy training, it's given a virtual reward for good decisions and penalised for bad ones. So it keeps trying different things, learning from its mistakes and figuring out how to fly like a real life raptor. One of the most fascinating aspects of this story to me is how AI can reveal flight configurations that are counterintuitive to human understanding, but actually give you the best way of getting things done. This is especially true when looking at the complexity of bird flight, which is so intricate that it's still a bit of a mystery to us. AI can consider things rapidly at a system level, finding connections and synergies that are hidden from us. Florino put it neatly in a post over at RoboHub. We use biology to design better robots, and we use robots to understand more about biology. There is still one thing that the LIS Raptor can't do that quadcopters can, and that is to hover. It will be interesting to see what the next versions might look like. One thing is for sure, there's a lot going on in the avian-inspired drone space. Ambitions are to scale the technology to a small, ultra-agile aircraft. It's easy to imagine how a form of wing morphing might be useful in the next generation of fighter jets. Okay, bit of a last minute note from the edit here. I often feel like a lot of these technologies feel really far away and often they do look very different when they're commercialised on things like planes than they do in academic research on drones. But I've been at CES this week which has been awesome, met loads of great people and there was a keynote by Delta Airlines and they had someone come on from Airbus who mentioned how they're using biomimicry, bio-inspired bio engineering in some of their test planes right now and they've got flights trialing this stuff out. It's such a good sign that these really do come into uh, future applications even if it's in uh, five years or so. Anyway, back to the video. Some honourable mentions in avian-inspired drone innovations definitely include the Raven drone we saw earlier, a fixed-wing drone that can walk around and doesn't require a runway to take off. Also, some researchers are making drones from taxidermied birds. Yes, really. Apparently, they help with wildlife monitoring as the drones can fit into a flock seamlessly. And if you've ever wanted to build planes, drones, or just about anything you can think of, you should also check out today's sponsor, Onshape, right after subscribing to the channel, it helps out a lot. If you are an engineer, tinkerer, or part of a business looking for an incredible computer-aided design solution, then you need to check out Onshape, a professional-grade CAD and product data management system designed to revolutionise how you design and manage your products. Imagine secure, real-time collaboration, multiple people working on the same design at once. No more crashes, no lost data, and no need for an IT team. Onshape tracks every change automatically with infinite restore capabilities, and its branching and merging features, similar to Git, make merging complex designs effortless. Plus, it runs on any device, from computers to tablets, so you can work anywhere anytime. For you viewers in the US, Onshape just launched Onshape Government, a version specifically tailored for companies needing regulatory compliance, like ITAR and EAR. And unlike traditional CAD software, Onshape is built entirely in the cloud, accessible directly from your browser, meaning no matter who you are, you can get set up in minutes. Sign up for Onshape today and get up to six months of the professional version for free at onshape.pro slash Xeroth.